then then rub elbows and hobnob with folks <clears throat> just to get along. Sometimes what you believe will cause you some fruitless. It will make some folks disappointed and upset with you. Amen. There are going to be some folks who used to love your company that don't want nothing to do with you. Amen. Run around talking about Go hang out with your church friends. Go do your church there. And you said them that if you knew better, you would be hanging out with my church friends. Oh, <laughs> you can't worry about antagonizing folks. You can't worry about upsetting folks with your faith. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go make everybody mad. But, if it comes to a choice between pleasing God and pleasing man, I think we all know who should win out on that battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, watch this. Your faith will not keep you from going through the trial. <laughs> Your faith will not keep you from going through the trial. Verse 20 through 23. They were literally thrown into the fire. <clears throat> now, this word of faith movement would have us to believe <laughs> that because they spoke that faith, God was supposed to show up and then I had to go through the test. That's false. Speaking faith, just because you have faith, does not mean that you won't ever go through anything. There are times where trial, tribulation, struggling, will be on your menu. Mm -hmm. So just having faith, don't get discouraged. I got faith and I'm still going through it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's nothing surprising. Don't believe the hype that because you have faith, you're going to avoid some things. You can have faith and still go through some things. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You can have faith and still have some issues. Faith is not faith is not an avoidance of things. Mm. But faith is strength to handle mm. the things. Amen. Lastly, before unless I hold you too long, faith will be honored by God. Faith will be honored by God. Crazy faith is met with a crazy miracle. Here it is, verse 24. The king was sitting there, chilling, I guess waiting on the fry to a crisp. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he gets up quick and goes and looks. He calls his counsel. Maybe I'm bipolar, having some kind of issue. But we put three people in here. Mm. Mm. The fire, it, the fire was so hot that the people that threw the, the Hebrew boys in burned up. And so he's sitting there, and he sees people walking around. They went in there, their arms and legs bound, <laughs> and now they're walking around free. Mm -hmm. Contrary to popular belief. God did not air condition the furnace. They were walking around in the midst of the furnace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God has to let you go through the furnace so there are some things on you that he needs to burn off of. Glory. Mm -hmm. yes, and the only way he can do it is to let you go through the fire. Mm -hmm. And so he goes and looks and says, hold on, I threw three in. Mm. But there's a fourth one in there now. And they're all walking. One of the names of one of the names is Emmanuel. Emmanuel means what? God with us. God, with us. God not only with you in a good time. Mm -hmm. But God meets us yeah. all times in the midst 
of our most difficult situations. Amen. Mm-hmm. There's a poem I remember growing up that talked about two people. Uh, somebody wrote it said they were walking on the beach, and all while life was easy and everything, there was two sets of footprints in the sand. But they noticed in retrospect that every time life got difficult, there was only one set of footprints. And they asked God, God, how come you walk with me through the easy times? And during the difficult times, you were absent. And God says, no, I'm not absent. The reason you only see one set of footprints through those times is because I carried you through those times. God is not never absent in our lives. We like to have in Emmanuel that there in the good time. Well, God is absent when we when we depart from Him. Let me correct that. He's absent when we depart from Him through sin. But God doesn't leave us. We leave Him. Amen. So let me correct that. I apologize. Let me correct that. But God is not a, a, a fair weather friend. Oh, no. He's not one of those people who say, I'm with you through the thick and thin, and when it gets thick, they thin out. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's with you all the time, yeah. as long as you're with him. Thank you. And there are times where it seems like you don't see one set 